Hi, I am B. Geeta Manohari. Welcome you to e-learning. Today we will learn about apparel industry, its organizational setup, product planning and selection and production planning and control. Introduction, the apparel industry is characterized by rapid and dynamic changes, short life cycle, low predictability and high impulse purchasing. It can be large or small, high-end fashion or budget industry which ensures the strategic growth and competitiveness among the manufacturers. Apparel is an ideal industry and it helps to account for large number of jobs associated with the industry. Apparel industry is a term which cannot be explained in a short word but here explains the basic structural points of the clothing industry. Structure of the apparel industry. Any organization need structuring so that lines of authority along with individual duties and responsibility can be understood by every company member. Most of the companies prepare graphical representation of organizational structure and the method of presenting in graphical manner is called organizational chart. The apparel industry is fascinating example of manufacturing and the supply chain. The supply chain of the apparel industry commences from forming of cotton in the cotton field, manufacturing man-made fiber to selling clothes in retail store to the consumer. Broadly, the skeleton of the apparel industry can be divided into four stages. Stage 1 – Textile and Finding Manufacturers In the mill level, the raw material for the apparel manufacturing process such as fiber, yarn, fabric, zipper, threads, trims and buttons are manufactured and the apparel manufacturer are vertically integrated or buy from vendors open stock. Stage 2 Apparel Manufacturer Apparel manufacturers are responsible for the marketing, merchandising and production of products. In this stage there are two types of apparel manufacturers perform manufacturing within their own facilities and employees contract some or all manufacturing functions to other firms. There are three types of contractors, cut make trim contractor, full package program, specialty contractors. Stage 3 Retailers The apparel manufacturer may be vertically integrated to the retail sector through owning their own stores which aid in decision making during product development. There are different types of retailers in today's consumer good market. Catalog retailer, department store retailer, internet retailer, mass retailer, specialty retailer, warehouse or wholesale club retail outlet. Stage 4. Consumer. The target of the textile and apparel manufacturer are the ultimate consumers. Satisfied consumer, make business growth and profitability possible. Decision made at all levels are based on forecast of consumer demand. Organizational setup of the apparel industry. The flowchart shows the organizational setup of the Indian apparel export industry. So here the managing director is the responsible for the performance of the company. The operation head manages the entire factory operation and ensures the factory is running profitably. Design head is responsible for the design and development of clothing. Marketing head focuses on publishing and increasing awareness of a particular brand such as designer labels or department stores. Merchandising manager creates a good relationship in exporter and buyer. Production manager heads the factory and the quality. Logistic head looks after the export documentation and arranging vessels for goods. Administrative head directs the activity of subordinate staff in the coordination and management of various administrative activities for an organization. The roles and responsibilities of the some of the important personnel in the apparel industry. Managing director reports to the chairman or board of director. As the managing director, responsibilities will include formulating and successfully implementing company policy. Directing strategy towards the profitable growth and operation of the company. Closely monitoring the operating and financial results against plan and budget. Taking remedial action where necessary and informing the board of significant changes. 
maintaining the operational performance of the company representing the company to major customer and professional associations building and maintaining an effective executive team operations head operations head the responsibility will include coordination with design marketing merchandising logistic production and administrative team planning of production units style allocation to units technical setting of the garment involvement in pre production meetings production monitoring factory work study and industrial engineering quality of the finished product shipment of shipment planning and shipments costing of production floor cost cutting of production process employee training buyer compliance recruitment workers personal and welfare activities interdepartmental issues design head design head the responsibilities will include in charge of guiding all steps of the design process from initial conception to final manufacture and marketing monitoring current fashion supervising a team of technical designer working with individual clients to design pieces of custom coucher collaborating with sales and marketing managers to determine the best way to present new ideas to the public marketing head his responsibility will include assisting their employees with analyzing advertising campaign and monitoring brand quality monitoring the reaction of customers and retail outlets to new products and brand initiatives overseeing a number of subordinate employees in charge of branding and marketing new products merchandising manager the merchandising manager looks after every job like buying the raw material making the garment finishing the garment documentation and finally shipping internal and external communication sampling lab dip preparing internal order sheet preparing purchase order advising and assisting production advising quality department about quality level mediating production and quality department giving shipment instruction and following shipping helping documentation department taking responsibility for inspection following shipment production head production head the responsibilities will include production planning for the lines which means the manpower machines and styles giving instruction to the line supervisor line performance analysis like line efficiency man to machine ratio and cost per pieces and plan for continuous improvement analysis of quality data discussion with other team members like merchant fabric manager cutting team planning and industrial engineering team taking main role in pre production meeting looking after job works such as printing embroidery garment dyeing etc and take decision on selecting vendors for job work planning for overtime work deciding rate for piece rate employees sewing thread cutting pressing etc examining the finished product carefully and look for flaws in them the flaws found in manufacturing have to be rectified immediately have to check for the quality of the raw material and standardize it coordinating with the main office from where the manufacturing orders come from hiring the worker for the factory and provide training for them assigning the worker to the different department according to their skills ensuring all the manufacturing targets are met <coughs> administration head administration head the responsibilities will include managing various operations at a facility that is food service physical plant warehouse accounting and finance environmental health and fire safety identifies legal requirement and government reporting regulations affecting human resources functions and ensures policies procedures and reporting are in compliance recruits interviews test and select employees to fill vacant positions plan 
and con conducts new employee orientation to foster positive attitude toward company goals. Keeps record of benefit plan, participation such as insurance and pension plan, personal transactions such as hires, promotion, transfer, performance reviews and termination and employee statistics for government reporting. Advises management in appropriate resolution of employee relation issues. Administers salary administration program to ensure compliance and equity within organization. Conducts wage surveys within labor market to determine competitive wage rate. Prepare budget of human resource operation. Prepares employee separation notices and related documentation and conducts exit surveys to determine reasons behind separations. Prepares reports and recommends procedure to reduce the absenteeism and turn turnover. Represents organization at personal related hearings and investigation. Contracts with outside suppliers to provide employee services such as canteen, transportation or relocation services. Product planning and selection. The flowchart shows the new product development process. The product planning phase precedes the product development process. Product planning and selection. The product planning phase begins with stating Product objective which includes assessment of technology, development and market objectives. The output of the planning phase specifies the target market for the product, business goals, key assumptions and constraints. Product planning is an activity that considers the apparel product mix that an organization might pursue and determines what product assortment will be pursued over a period of time. Product mix which is the total selection of goods and services that a company makes or sells. Product assortment, the range or merchandise within categories the company sells. Product planning identifies the product assortment to be developed by the organization and the timing of, the pro timing of their introduction to the market. Product planning regularly updated on an annual basis or seasonal basis and it should be reviewed to reflect changes in the competitive environment, changes in technology and information on the success of existing products. Several product revision occur with continuous interaction among designers, stylists and marketing functions. Product planning are developed with the company's goals, capabilities, constraints and competitive environment in mind. Why product failure? Inadequate coverage of target market, poor timing of market introduction of products, poor capacity planning for product development, mismatch between resource requirement and development competency, frequent changes in product line. The product planning process comprises determined strategy for products, market strategy and feasibility study, identification of specific work activities, positioning and testing of products, preparation of production process, budget and resource plan, forecasting of cost, time and performance. Product planning and selection, the fundamental steps, determination of strategy for products. It defines an overall strategy for products to guide in selection development of products and product to be produced and results to be obtained, time, cost and performance standards to achieve the objectives. Define market strategy and feasibility study. Market study describes the definition of target market, customer, competitive strength and competitive strategy. Feasibility study involves assessment of technology, assessment of market and cost benefit analysis. Based on the study, the product to be identified as economically feasible or not. Identification of specific work activities. It refers to breaking the entire product into definable and executable jobs using work breakdown structure. It lists various tasks needed to achieve the product objectives. Next. Positioning and testing of products. It involves positioning of planned products relative to competitive products and identify superior quality and differentiate or distinguish these products from the competitive counterparts in the market and modification in the design if required. 
it also requires rationalizing these competitive products developed and establishment of priorities for products to be developed preparation of production process budget and resource plan it establishes preparation of process plan and procure machines work aids and other resources and also constitutes estimation of development resources and balance product requirement with the budget in the overall business plan forecasting of time cost and performance it determines in advance the time cost and performance projection for the completion of the product production planning and control production consists of series of sequential operation involves transformation of materials into a desirable product production planning and control is a vital role available to the management for streamlining the production operation and attaining the maximum utilization of firm's resources to enhance the productivity production planning and control helps to achieve uninterrupted flow of materials through production line by making available these materials at right time and required quantity thus production planning and control can be defined as the direction and coordination of firm's resources towards attaining the prefixed goals why production planning and control effective utilization of resources steady flow of production estimates the resources ensures optimum inventory coordinates activity of department minimizes wastage of raw materials improves the labor productivity helps to capture the market provides a better work environment facilitates quality improvement results in consumer satisfaction on time supply of goods to the customers on time reduces the production cost there are three levels of production planning factory planning process planning and operation planning first one factory planning the sequence of work task planned in terms of building machines equipment and space availability this stage deals with plant location and layout process planning this stage deals with location of the operation in the production process and layout of work centers operational planning this stage deals with methods required to perform each operation selection of work centers and designing of tools production control even though planning of activities is done most of the time it is not possible to achieve 100 percentage productivity as per the planned schedule there are numerous factor which will affect the production system and deviate the planned activities at the time production control comes into action and it takes corrective action to match the planned and actual production thus the production control directs and regulates all the activities of the production process and verifies whether the activities are going in accordance with production plan or not functions of production planning and control functions of production planning and control pre planning is a macro level planning which deals with analysis of data based upon the forecasted demand market analysis and product design and development pre planning function is concerned with new process and developments equipment policy replacement and workflow the pre planning function of production planning and control is concerned with decision making with respect to methods machines and workflow with respect to available scope and capacity the planning function deals with analysis of four m's that is machines methods materials and manpower functions of production planning and control control phase is effected by dispatching inspection and expediting material control analysis of work in process finally evaluation makes the production planning and control cycle complete and corrective action are taken through a feedback from analysis a good communication and feedback is essential to enhance and ensure effectiveness of production planning and control comparison between production planning and production control production planning production planning is a pre production activity production control production control will be in action when production activity begins planning involves the collection maintenance and analysis of data with respect to the standards materials and their specifications machines and their process capabilities 
control is concerned with communication of their information and producing reports like output report, productivity, rejection rate, etc. Planning is useful to anticipate the problem and devising remedial measure in case the problem arises. Control involves in taking corrective steps in case of error to match actual performance against the planned performance. Planning is a centralized activity and includes functions like material control, process planning and control. Control is a widespread activity includes functions such as dispatching, programming and inspection etc. Planning sees the necessary resources are available to make the production at right quality and time. Control keep track of activity and sees whether everything is going as per the schedule or not. So now we end up with the session. We have learned the structure and organizational setup of the apparel industry. Also you have learned the product planning and selection and production planning and control. To be successful and to stay in business, each company must be structured, design, develop and introduce new products. Production planning and control serve as a nervous system for the apparel industry which plans, coordinates, monitors and control all the activity in a steady flow manner. Thank you.